Where do you see a number three marked on that door? One piece. Thanks for your trouble. Well, you don't see that every day. Isn't he the cop they've been talking about on the radio? Want another commendation? LAPD, police emergency. You sure you're a cop?
Oswald Jacobs? That's right. What exactly happened here, Mr. Jacobs? Last night, I was looking out of my window. I like to keep an eye on what's going on. I can understand that. You see this empty lot? Damn kids play stickball here. Always breaking my windows. Always asking for their ball back. Can we get back to the car, Mr. Jacobs? Don't be impatient, Sonny. Anyways, last night I see this brand spanking new Packard up on bricks. Did you see who stole the Packard? Hell yes, I did. I saw three goddamn Mexicans going to work on it. You're sure it was three Hispanics? Not some local kids you're looking out for? Hell no. Little sons of bitches live around here. I'd love to see them in juvenile hall. But you got your wires crossed, son. After the uh, Mexicans left, you didn't go anywhere near the car? After I scared them off? No, I didn't go anywhere near that car. Can you describe the men? Like I said, they were beaners. <sighs> That's enough for now. Remember, Jacob, it's an offense to obstruct a criminal investigation. Let's hope you've given us everything. Jacob's dumped the book he was reading in a hurry when we walked up. You curious what he didn't want us to see? Everything here is going to be relevant. Goddamn Venice!
Isn't he the cop they've been talking about on the radio? Want another accommodation? Automatic license. Optimistic call. Doesn't look like anything. I don't think so. Isn't that the cop who solved the big case and got promoted? You're in serious trouble, Miss Rodriguez. But Gabriel is not here. I have done nothing wrong. Tell us the truth, Anna. Has Gabriel been here? I haven't seen him for at least three nights. Anna, do you want to go to jail? Do you want your baby to be born in jail? He was here. He comes and goes. I can't control him. We found a license plate matching our stolen vehicle in the shed. Add in the assortment of parts, and we can make Gabriel for a dozen other thefts. It's time to get serious, Anna. You must ask these questions of Gabriel. I know nothing of these car parts. You want him home as much as we do, Anna. Tell us where we can find him. You pretend to be concerned for me. But you would take him straight from here to a cell. Gabriel wasn't at work. Where can we find him? He said he would never go back. Gabriel is out driving around in his car. 
If you tell us where he is, I will try and bring him in. If we have to track him down ourselves, it could end very badly for him, Miss Rodriguez. He is out with his chivatos, Julian and Enrique. They race on the corner of First and Santa Fe. I have pleaded with Gabriel to stop, but he would not listen. As soon as we corner Gabriel, we'll be back for you, Anna. You had your chance to cooperate. We know where the kid is. Let's go stop these clowns and get them off the streets. Isn't he the cop they've been talking about on the radio? What another accommodation? What kind of man leaves his pregnant girlfriend at home while he goes off to play cars? Pregnant girlfriends aren't always a barrel of laughs. Everyone needs to let off a little steam. Some guys wouldn't come back home at all. Are you talking from experience? Oh, Christ alive! Quick as we shut one of these races down, another one springs up somewhere else. Kids used to steal cars to sell them. Now they just want to wrap them around a lamppost. The next 16-year-old I have to peel off the sidewalk you're calling them out. I've had enough of those to last me a lifetime. That's Delgado, right there. Quick! They're getting away! Phelps, 1247. Requesting assistance at first at Santa Fe. Reports of an illegal street. Stay on Delgado. Getting away. You're gonna lose him. Lay into his wheel arches. Come on. Step on it, Phelps. Take him out. Enough games, Phelps. Take this guy out. God damn it, Cole. Hold it steady. Delgado, you're under arrest for Grand Theft Auto. Fuck you, puto. You should speak to the maricón. Valdez, I showed him. Now who's a man? I should have burned his fucking car.
You got a foreign dignitary out it as a fruit and a kitty raper, a car dealer we're gonna let slide for the kickbacks, and a street punk car thief who sure as hell won't be taking liberties with other people's autos again anytime soon. That, Detective Phelps, is not a bad haul. You keep your chin low and your hands high, and you keep bringing me clearances just like that one. That's textbook policing, and we need more of it in this department. You have any plans for Weekend Liberty, Jack? My sisters have been working in Los Angeles in a bomber factory. They're coming down to visit. I'm meeting them at the station at 6. Good for you, Jack. Are they cute? They're my sisters, Hank. Attention! Final inspection before Liberty. Good job, Kelso. Are we going somewhere, gentlemen? Full inspection. It had better be exceptional if any of you want liberty this weekend. Kelso, this carbine. The bore is dirty. No, it isn't. Are you arguing with me, Kelso? Do what you need to do, Sergeant. You know the bore is immaculate. Weekend liberty canceled. Uh, Two-day field drill. Oh, man. Clean this rifle. No. Do you know the penalty for insubordination, Kelso? Jack, don't do it. Forget him, Hank. He doesn't have what it takes. Are you two finished? Are you going to clean this rifle? No, Sergeant. Cole is right. I'm going to stop playing games and join a rifle company and fight the real enemy. Gentlemen, I just got this handed to me. A hit-and-run felony at Ray's Cafe, 208 North Los Angeles. Got a patrolman on site. The coroner's on his way. Get down there, see if you can find any witnesses who can put a make on the car. I want to make a homicide. I mean, you know you've made it if you got that desk. Guy gave his wife a tap. I said, all's fair in love and war. Are they in this city anymore? No, Canary says he'll sing, but I don't know if I guarantee he'll walk. That's that cop. Coroner says he'll take a leap of seats like a nice guy. I don't want to be rude, but I ain't got time for caution. charges. Anna Rodriguez might do time. I'll speak to the DA. She suffered enough. Mm, I don't know, Cole. She's an easy make and the DA likes convictions. I'll convince him to let me go. How do you do that? I'll give him something better.
Detectives, over here. Cole Phelps, traffic. What have we got? Because a white male named Lester Patterson walked out of the bar and into the street, car hit over there, and he ended up here, dead on impact by the look of it. Have you canvassed the area? The only one with anything useful to contribute is the young lady over there. She lives above the bar, named Shannon Perry. No, it's not a stage name. 24 years old, she left Kansas to follow the yellow brick road. Is that so? We'll take a formal statement later. Right now, we're going to take a look around. Phelps, you should take a look at the body. Poor guy didn't stand a chance. I ended on his face and ended up here. The car must have struck him from behind. life insurance. We can notify next of kin. What have you got on the victim? From all reports, he was intoxicated at the time of the accident. I'll know how intoxicated once I've done the autopsy. Looking him over now, I'd say he died on impact. What about the chest wound? Isn't that inconsistent? Very common in auto injuries. Look for a car with a prominent hood ornament. Those things are killers. Careful where you step in, Phelps. I don't come down to the station house and tap dance on your desk. Body traveled a good 20 feet. So the driver managed to brake before the impact. This blood is a long way from the body. The car must have been going like a bat out of hell. He's all yours, detective. Miss Perry? Yes? I'm Detective Phelps. This is my partner, Detective Bukowski. What kind of car was it? A dark red Lincoln Continental.
Did you see the license plate? Only the first three letters, I'm afraid. Three C eight. Can you tell us what happened? Well, I came to the window because I heard people arguing downstairs. Then what happened? I saw a car hit that poor man and knock him down the street. Tell me more about the argument you heard. Well, there were two voices, a man and a woman. That's all. Why are you holding out on us, Miss Perry? I'm sorry. I was hoping to tell my story to the newspapers. I'd like to get my picture in the paper. I'm trying to find work as an actress, and things are pretty difficult. Cough it up, sister. We don't have all night. People arguing? They were husband and wife. I could tell by what she was yelling. Intimate things. Very embarrassing for the man. Thank you, Miss Perry. Your information has been very helpful. You can go now. You really think so? I hope you find that driver and put him away. <laughs> you certainly got away with the dames, Phelps. <laughs> Give it a rest, Bukowski. Let's see what the patrons have to say. I'll take the bartender. You work the rest of the room. I'm Detective Phelps of the LAPD. How can I help, Detective? Your name would be a good start. Dudley Lynch. Hired help. I run the place when the owner ain't around. Where is the owner? He stepped out. Somebody had to take Lorna, Mrs. Patterson, home. Do you know the victim? Yeah. Lester Patterson. He's a regular here, or he was. Not one of your favorite customers? Lester was special, but not my kind of special. Was Lester drinking alone? No. He came here with his wife. She didn't seem too interested in the booze, though. What can you tell me about the accident? Not a lot. It was busy in here, and all I heard was the impact. So you didn't see what happened? By the time I got out there, it was all over. A witness overheard an argument. Lester and Lorna. There's nothing like airing your dirty laundry in public, is there? Why was Lorna Patterson in such a hurry to leave? What is going on here? Lorna was pretty upset, so Leroy took her home. Lorna and Leroy are close. They've been talking about opening a new bar. Leroy? Leroy Sabo, the owner. How long have Lorna and Leroy been talking about this new bar? Uh, who knows? I just served the drinks. Is Leroy really going into business with Lorna? You sure you're not covering for her? Me and Lorna? That man-eater? I wouldn't last a weekend with her. You're barking up the wrong tree there, partner. You finished scratching around? I've got work to do before I close up. You know the way out. Stalling just makes us more inquisitive, Lynch. We'll get to the bottom of this, with or without you. That guy has a serious attitude problem. You get anything out of the regulars? They weren't giving too much away. They liked watching Lester and Lorna go a few rounds every other day. And Lester was a fan of the love tap. 